ESPN welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. The Bears and the Colts preparing for Super Bowl 41. One game, one dream, one team. There's not a player on the sidelines that didn't have this dream. Everything you've been playing for since you've been yee-haw. After 21 years, the Chicago Bears were back on football's greatest stage. It's not down, baby! Super Bowl! We got a shot to be world champ! Flat falls, popping here in Miami. It sails to the far side around the 8-yard line to Hester. Under it, and to the middle with the 15, to the 20, breaks free, the 25, to the 30, to the outside! 40, midfield! Drenching downpour, the Bears unleashed a storm of big plays. The NFC champions took a 14-6 lead. The Bears fought hard as they had all season long. This time, it wasn't to be. But as they left, they envisioned what could be. I'm gonna watch how they do it, so I know how to do it next time. Time to go to work, baby. What is it? Prime time. Are you ready for some football? Repeating as division champions wouldn't be easy. The Bears knew it and wouldn't have it any other way. Pound for pound, man for man, who's better? Nobody! Nobody. Most, all kinds of time, loading up the deep ball, he's got buried! And Jones, touchdown! Hey guys, it's hard to go back to back. Winning the NFC North Championship, great job. Give it up for the Bears. After racing to another division title, they set their sights on much more. Run it in! Run it in! Jones to the five. He's got an angle. Standing up, he gets the corner of the end zone. Touchdown! The NFC Championship comes through the Chicago. Third, third, third. That's what happened, all right? Man, this is a team of destiny is what this is. Snap to Grossman. Sets to throw. Late pressure. Throws down to the left there. Oh, he made it to the five! Goal line! Bears! The Chicago Bears were one team with one dream. All for one, they were NFC champions. Trinity guy. College football primetime. Florida State Clemson, Monday at 8 Eastern. The tempo for the Chicago Bears 2006 season was set right from the start. Lovey Smith's marching orders were clear. Beat three straight division opponents to start the year. On opening day in Green Bay, Rex Grossman fired Chicago to an early lead. Then Devin Hester put the Packers away. Devin Hester to his 16-yard line. He's going to return it. He's going to run right. And with a burst to the 25, 30, opening 35, 40. Right side midfield. Got a block that field to the 40. No chance. Goodbye. Touchdown. Welcome to the NFL. The Windy City Flyer. Devin Hester. In the home opener. The Bears crushed the Lions with six sacks and four Grossman touchdown passes. Rex to the pocket, winds up, going deep for Berrien. Over the shoulder, down he grabbed. End zone, touchdown. The Bears won their first two games without breaking a sweat. But a week later, up in Minnesota, Chicago ran into a tougher opponent.
Champions aren't great all the time. They're great when they have to be. Down by four, late in the game, the Bears faced a defining moment. All right, we'll get another shot. Yeah. Get another shot. Let's put it in the zone, man. Yeah, yeah. Without the ball, a comeback is impossible. All-Pro Tommy Harris took care of that. Double slots, four receivers, one back. Snap to Brad Johnson. Quick hitter to oh, oh. Tommy Harris knocked it out. Bears have it. What a play. Now that they had the ball, Rex Grossman had to get it in the end zone. Five plays later, he did. Snap to Rex, goes back to throw on five steps. Pocket holds. He winds up. Open that end zone. Touchdown. Davis. Rex, thank you very much. The Bears were 3 and 0, oh, but they still hadn't played their best football. What would happen, Lovey Smith wondered, if they put all four phases together? Offense, defense, special teams, and the unmatched power of their fans. They found out in consecutive home wins over the Seahawks and Bills. Going deep. Down for Marion. Over the shoulder. End zone. Touchdown. Four TD passes from Grossman and two touchdown runs each from Thomas Jones and Cedric Benson created perfect balance on offense. Defensively, Buffalo and Seattle were sacked eight times and Matt Hasselbeck barely escaped another. It looks 50, it's not 50, it's just the ball, no, the ball head. <laughs> you think it's 50, it's not. Alex Brown had one of three interceptions against the Bills. Ricky Manning Jr. had two against the Seahawks and nearly scored. Brendan Ian Badejo led the special teams, and all pro Robbie Gold was on a hot streak that would reach 24 in a row. I don't want to talk to Robbie. I was like, I don't want to tell him good job. I, I tell him, so you still perfect? I tell him every week. As for the fans, the Bear Nation rocked. Chicago rolled over the Bills and Seahawks by a combined score of 77 to 13. The Bears are putting on a clinic in every phase of the game, and they've stirred up a hornet's nest here. The Bears were 5-0. and oh. But they fell behind 20 to nothing on Monday night. In the locker room, they vowed that the second half would be different. We will win this game. Yes. We're going to get physical. We're going to get ugly right now. Yeah. Don't get no personal fouls in between the whistle. Get ugly. Yeah. Yeah. We will win this game. I promise you. Yes. Okay, let's go. 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 Let's go.
As the sun set on October, the Bears cast an imposing shadow over the entire NFL. After a 41-10 blowout of the 49ers, they were 7-0. But the following week, they did something they hadn't done all year. They lost. To get back on track, they got a little meaner. A little smarter. They played with more heart. Most important, it was all for one. We do this for each other! We do this for each other! Meanness came from a defense that allowed the fewest points in the NFC. Tank Johnson, Pro Bowler Tommy Harris, and Ian Scott stuffed runners. Quarterbacks were sacked 40 times, thanks to Adewale Ogunleye and Alex Brown. Number 97, rookie Mark Anderson, led the team with 12 sacks, the most by a bear in 13 years. Intelligence helped Lance Briggs make the Pro Bowl for the second straight year, while Hunter Hillenmeyer worked beside the best middle linebacker in the game. Brian Erlacher led the team in tackles and intercepted three passes on the way to his sixth Pro Bowl. Hart came from hitters Chris Harris, Mike Brown, and Danielle Manning, who helped the Bears lead the NFL in turnovers. Nathan Vasher picked off three passes, while Charles Tillman and Ricky Manning Jr. shared the team lead with five. With their first loss still fresh in their minds, the Bears focused on back-to-back -back games in the Meadowlands. We the best team in the NFC. We got to show that if I get that bad taste out your mouth. One on three. One, two, three. Against the Giants, the defense rattled Eli Manning, while Rex Grossman kept his cool. D.D. Rex threw three touchdown passes, and the Bears took a 24-20 lead. Sets to throw, looking left. He's got Bradley inside the five. Caught. End zone. Touchdown. Touchdown, Bears. In a tight game, Dave Tobe's special teams and Devin Hester made the difference. They turned a missed field goal into a perfectly blocked, record-tying play for the ages. And now Devin Hester going to run it out at the five to the ten. A week later, the Bears shut out the Jets to go to 9-1. The playoff push was about to begin. The Bears' second straight division title was in their sights. To your Nissan dealer now. Event ends September 4th, and that's the bottom line. The road to Super Bowl 41 in Miami would be a wild ride. The Bears called it Space Mountain. To reach it, the Bears climbed up on their big front wall. All-Pro Olin Krutz, Ruben Brown, Roberto Garza, John Tate, and Fred Miller led the ascent. Thomas Jones rushed for a 1,000 yards for the second straight year. Cedric Benson got stronger as the season wore on, rushing for six touchdowns. Rex Grossman flourished in Ron Turner's system with a career-high 23 touchdowns, six to Desmond Clark and two to John Gilmore. Hussein Mohammed's 60 catches led the team, while Mark Bradley's 75-yard touchdown catch from Brian Greasy was the Bears' longest of the year.
The most reliable deep threat was Bernard Berrien, who averaged over 15 yards per reception and tied for the team lead with six touchdown catches. The Bears' offense spearheaded the march to the playoffs. With a win over the Vikings, another division title was theirs. Chicago quickly claimed the NFC North crown by scoring touchdowns on offense, defense, and special teams. The right side, goes back to the left, breaks a tackle up the middle, 40, 35, 30. Here we go, Hester to the 20. Oh, he missed him with the 10. Touchdown, Jeff Hester! Johnson, short set, throw, intercepted, jump on run. Mickey Manning Jr., 35, 30, 25, 20. Right side, line 10, 5, touchdown! Snap to Grossman, handing off and bouncing right. Benson has got the 20, 15, 10, right side, 5, diving for the goal line. Touchdown, touchdown, Bears. <laughs> one goal is down. The next one, guys, okay. is what? Home, home field. Home field. Home field. Home field advantage. Home field advantage. To stay at home for the playoffs, they needed a win on the road in St. Louis. Opening at the 25, Haley to the near side, 30, blows by him out of the 40, near side, midfield. Bears exploded for a season-high 42 points, and Devin Hester became just the sixth player ever to return two kicks for touchdowns in one game. Hester starts at the 10, veering right now, angling to the middle at the 20, hits the gas, 25-30, 35-40, forget it! Nobody's gonna get him! Long gone! Devin Hester, you are ridiculous! Touchdown, Bears! I'm talking to you seriously. You are something special, dog. You, you got a long career ahead of you. That was a hell of a job. Only Tampa Bay stood between Chicago and home field advantage. With a 14-point lead, it appeared all but locked up. Bucks tied the game. Then Rashid Davis made a clutch catch in overtime. A Robbie Gold field goal could win it. Snap is back. Spot is down. Robbie Gold's kick is up. It is good. The Bears have won. Home field, baby. Home field. Come to this toe. They got to come to this toe. Lovey Smith's 13 and 3 Bears had the NFC's best record. The road to the Super Bowl ran through Chicago. The Bears ran over the defending NFC champion Seahawks and scored on their opening drive. Yes, sir, baby. Then Rex Grossman fired deep for Bernard Berry. Grossman takes, play fake defense, sets, has time, arches back, looking down the middle for Berry. Just before the half, Thomas Jones turned a fourth and one into a touchdown. The Bears led 21 to 14. Hey guys, our season comes down to this right here. All right? One half of football. Offense, that first drive is important. Drive it down there and score. <coughs> Defense, we win if you don't let them score. Man, you got to reach down right now. What more do you want than to be in this position right here? Second half. The second half was a defensive struggle. Late in the game, tied at 24, the defense needed to make a stand. Now is the time. Hey, we break this huddle. Let's get them fans into it, baby. Feed up that enthusiasm. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Fourth and inches. Lost the ball, got it. In overtime, the Bears looked to Grossman to get them in field goal range. Snap to Grossman, back to throw, tight pocket, down the seam over the shoulder guard, Rasheed Davis inside Seattle's 40-yard line. The uprights were 49 yards away from Robbie Gold. Team of 
what destiny is, what this is. All right? We're going to hit the practice field next week and tighten up a couple of things and then get ready to, to play the Saints coming up right now. We're about to get to the top. We need a key. The key is the NFC championship. Space Mountain 3, 1, 2, 3. The key to the NFC championship game was turnovers. The Bears had none. The Saints had four. Ball stripped out. It's bouncing around and picked up by Basher. At the 45 of the Bears. To the 40. Bears football! There you go! There you go! Thomas Jones rushed for 123 yards. And Chicago took a 13 to nothing lead. Thomas Jones! Touchdown! After the Saints made it close, Rex Grossman iced it with a fourth quarter strike to Bernard Berrien. Throws down left end. Oh, Berrien inside the five. Goal line. Touchdown. Touchdown, Bears. Chicago overwhelmed the Saints and won 39 to 14. They had finally scaled Space Mountain and were on their way to Miami. Bear fans, your dream is reality. Begin the migration to Miami and Super Bowl 41. Congratulations to the fans of the Chicago Bears who supported this team from thick and thin. Chicago won 15 games, a second straight division title, and the NFC Championship. Their remarkable season was a tribute to ownership, the team, and their fans. All for one, the Bears were Super Bowl bound. You knew that this group deserved to be in this position that we're in right now. But guys, we didn't talk about winning the NFC Championship. We talked about what? Super Bowl! Next season, the Bears will eye the top of Space Mountain again and begin their journey. They'll climb it one game at a time, and they'll reach the summit together, all for one. In 2006, the National Football League was home to ferocious competition, monumental achievements, and inspiring comebacks. Katrina could not drown it. It's back. Throwing deep for Horn. He makes the catch. This game ball is going to the city of New Orleans. Touchdown, Lee Evans. Again, another 83-yard hookup. Esther has run into the NFL record book. Six return touchdowns. has just become the NFL's all-time career scoring leader. Take it down the field and stick it in. Frank Gore, you better get more than 10 hands.